Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. Jeff Foxworthy popularized the old, you might be a redneck jokes. You might not be aware of it, but there are also, you might be a pastor jokes going around. One of the best ones is, you might be a pastor if you've ever dreamed you were preaching only to awaken and discover you were. And maybe that reveals a little something about preaching that you might not know. Sometimes even the pastor doesn't like his or her sermon and can find it boring. Some scripture passages are easier to work with than others. And sometimes you think you've got something powerful to say. And other times, well, maybe not. I've always told my interns that even in those times when you don't like it, you need to believe in the sermon because God might have someone out there who needs to hear what you are saying, even if it doesn't speak to you. Nevertheless, sometimes a sermon is boring, and we find ourselves biding our time until it's over at best, and sleeping at worst. Well, there were people in the Bible who slept while important things were going on too. That's our topic for this week. Our first story today points to someone who trusted in God in powerful ways. When David died, his son Solomon came to power, and on the eve of his coronation, while he was sleeping, he had a dream in which God told him to ask for anything he wanted, and it would be given to him. Imagine, anything, long life, power, wealth, peace, Anything that would make his life as king pleasant and wonderful, he could have. But instead of any of those things, he asked for wisdom to govern and follow God's way. God was greatly pleased with this request and gave him just that. And ever after, Solomon has been known as the wisest person who ever lived. And just because, God also gave him long life, power, wealth, and peace. Once again, God acted while Solomon slept. Our second story today also involves Solomon and happened while a woman slept, and it demonstrated Solomon's extraordinary wisdom. In those days, one of the king's responsibilities was to resolve disputes, and one day two prostitutes came to Solomon for his judgment. The two women shared a house and one gave birth to a baby, and three days later, so did the other. Then one of the babies died because in her sleep, the mother had lain on it and smothered it to death. That mother got up in the night and took the live child from the other mother and laid her own dead child beside her while she slept. So mother A took dead baby A and put it beside mother B and took mother B's live child as her own. How was Solomon to resolve this? Today it would be easy with a DNA test, but they didn't have such tests then. Solomon came up with an ingenious solution. Bring me a sword, he said. Then he suggested, I will cut the baby in half and give half to each mother. That's a fair solution to this problem. One mother immediately responded, No, don't do that. Let her have the child and let it live. The other mother said, that sounds fair to me. And Solomon said, give the child to the first mother. She was willing to give the child up in order that it live. She is the true mother. So the part of the story involving sleeping was when the two mothers slept and one child died. But the point of the story is the wisdom of God, evident through Solomon. The reason a rabbit's foot is considered lucky is because rabbits are born with their eyes open. That's unusual in the natural world, and people thought rabbits had an unusual connection to the spirit world and a deep understanding of things hidden to those of us born with eyes closed. That may be a good way to describe the wisdom of Solomon. Asleep and awake, he had faith in God, and his gift of wisdom came from God. 
May our eyes be open to God's word, God's will, and God's way. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.